Hello, I'm Char Knox, and this is the second part of our series, Homework, Creating a Successful Business at Home. And this week, we're going to talk about confidence and how important confidence is to your business. I'm going to share a few techniques that boost your confidence. We know, especially when we work in a business like direct selling, that we need to posture ourselves, feel good about ourselves, and really believe we have a lot to offer. So I hope you find these techniques valuable, and I look forward to you putting them into use and hearing that they made a difference for you. Confidence is not a static personality trait that you either have or don't have. It's something that's within all of us and we can access it at any point in our lives. Furthermore, I really believe that confidence is something that you can work on and develop. So I hope that uh, by listening to some of these techniques, you'll be able to boost your courage little by little. Let's start with your mornings. There's a lot of scientific research that tells us we can get an extra boost of confidence if we get enough daylight. When you get up in the morning, open up your curtains and blinds and look out at the daylight. In fact, it's even better if you can step outside. As you step outside first thing in the morning, breathe in deeply, raise your arms straight above your head and stretch. Be grateful for the day that you're about to start and know that you will make a difference in people's lives all along the way. Next, the way we talk to ourselves can have a huge impact on our confidence. We all have an inner critic. (laughs) That's that voice that magnifies our fears and our flaws and one that can become stronger and meaner the lower we feel. Negative self-talk can bring you down. It can sabotage your day, it can sabotage your relationships, and it certainly can sabotage your confidence. As a result of thinking negatively, it encourages you to avoid anything you have set up for the day that you think will be promising. Research shows us that cultivating a positive inner voice And using some self-affirmations to do so can definitely boost your performance. The next time you notice that you're being overly self-critical, take a moment again to pause and breathe. Do not beat yourself up or judge yourself for having the thought. Simply let it be there as you breathe. Find three things to say about yourself or your life that are truly positive and authentic at that moment. These can directly challenge your original thought. It even can be completely unrelated. The point is, replace the negativity with a mini jolt of positivity. Allow yourself to feel positive by thinking about something that makes you feel good. To have confidence, you have to have conviction. And conversely, having conviction and direction can help you boost your confidence. Why? Because having goals, driving forward, and focusing make it much more likely that you'll achieve success. And the more you achieve, the higher confidence level rises. Understanding what we stand for, our truth, and our purpose not only enlightens us and helps us move forward, but really supports our ability to reach our full potential. And we reach our full potential when we have confidence in ourselves to do so. Confident people have great eye contact. You just know by the way they look at you, they have all this confidence inside. If you're not looking people in the eye when you talk about the products or talk about the opportunity, the person you're talking to may get a feeling of mistrust. So here are some ways that you can practice good eye contact. Go out for a walk, maybe just a half an hour. 
during this time, try to make contact with at least 10 people. So go to the mall, walk around the mall, find a place, a coffee shop, and just make eye contact with people. If you go to the coffee shop, make eye contact with a person who serves you at the cafe. Or if you're at the store, the checkout girl. When chatting with someone, turn your body to face them square on. It's much easier to look them in the eye this way. And keep a mental note of how long you look at them in the eye. We tend to maintain eye contact for a second. We need to work on that being at least five seconds. Ask your partner or a good friend to practice eye contact with you. Sit opposite each other and see how long you can maintain that soft eye contact. It's kind of like Who Blinks First, the game we used to play as a kid. But this time, your gaze is soft and your aim is to connect. It can be a very powerful exercise. If you find it hard to look at someone directly in the eye, try looking at the point between the eye or just above them. They really won't be able to tell the difference. Practice making eye contact, and I promise you it'll boost your confidence. These small reminders can make a big difference in the way you feel about yourself and the way you perform every day. If you can stop the negative talk, if you can wake up in the morning with an extremely positive attitude, if you can look people in the eye, things we talked about on uh, this session today, small things make a big difference. Let me come full circle to where I began this session, and that is it is so important to project confidence and to have the posturing that we need for people to believe in us, believe in our product, believe in our opportunity. You know that in direct selling, people come into this business because of you. And they have to feel good about you. They have to feel that you can lead them and guide them to their goals while you achieve your goals. And people like to follow confident people. Boosting your confidence is the real key for business success. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you again soon.